Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Brad Shushin here, and today I am playing some more Space Engineers, and today I am yet again going back to my roots of gravity and cannons and all that good stuff, because you guys seem to quite like that, you know, quite a lot of the weapons I make. So here I am today with another weapon that is kind of a mix between a kind of the old Mac cannon I made, uh, the Mac gun, which was quite old actually, and it's kind of a newer version of that mixed in with the mag uh, magnetic launcher that I did the other day. So today my target is going to be this ship over there and the cannon I'm using is this one here. Now the reason why I've made a video on this uh, and the reason why it's a well, new one I actually felt like making this is because now that I can actually set the properties of the gravity you can, you'll actually see that the gravity is only affecting a little bit in front and a little bit behind here. So the way this works really is I get inside this piece here, I fly this backwards into the back of the cannon and that should start pulling the actual uh, bullet forward and shoot it out over here. The reason why I kind of went with this design is because one, it'll allow people to load in whatever they wanted in the back of the cannon here without worrying about the gravity interfering instead of having to turn it on and off uh, and all that stuff. So back here we have the actual bullet. I've still got it connected because I was still working on it. And if we go inside here, you guys can see that we have the one stone connected by three landing gears. And I'm going to fill this up with actual warheads to see, well just because just it would be a bit more uh, entertaining for you guys. And you guys can see that now I've actually used landing gear to actually guide it all the way along till it gets uh, released. And it should hopefully hit its target. Now another good thing about having this set up the way it is right now because this piece actually also moves back and forth, and where did I actually put the console on this? It's a bit disorientating sometimes. I must have actually got rid of it. Maybe I'm upside down. There I am. Yeah, okay, I was upside down. What a fool. Okay, but like, as I was saying, another good thing about having this the way it is right now, is that this is actually locked on, and I can actually turn the cannon around and actually aim it where I want to. And so that's how I got it uh, aimed at this right now. So let me go inside. Let me fill it up with warheads, and let's actually see how it works. Uh, see how it goes. Really, I haven't really had a uh, time to test it. This is my first test. So if it fails, it fails. If it works, it works. Uh, if it fails, it'll be an entertaining video. If it works, you guys might like it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to. I don't know whether I should fill this with warheads first, and then yeah, I'll do warheads first, and then I'll disconnect it, and then I'll go up to the front. So here we are placing a few warheads in here. Uh, do I have... yeah, I do have that. I'm not too sure where I should really put them. I know I can put quite a few at the back. And that might be a good place to put these. So we'll put quite a few here. And uh, I don't want to bump these because I know that if you bump them ever so slightly, uh, you will... you will, will not die, but uh, <laughs> you'll lose it, all your progress and whatnot. So there we go, we got that done. And we'll put a few more at the front here just to know uh, that we mean business. So there you guys go, there we have the warhead or the actual round full with warheads. So now we're going to disconnect this and ho hope that it stays and doesn't go all wacky. So let's disconnect from here and disconnect from here and we lost all power on the base. That's okay because I forgot to put down a, a generator. Wow, I because I, I was using the power from that to, uh, to begin with. At least, I, did I lose all power? I don't think I lost all power. I just think it was a... Uh... Oh, well, we'll put down... Yeah, there we go. We'll put down a few here. Oh, I already had one. Oh, no. Sorry, yeah, that was me. Yeah, I'm a fool. I forgot all about this. <laughs> there we go. Now we have power here. And this thing should be lined up well enough with a few of these. And it should... It should hopefully slide all, all, the, all along right till we get out of here. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to save it. I'm going to save it, and if I want to do a second take of this, I'll save it now. And what I'll do is I'll get inside this, uh, this thing, pull it back, and fire it forward. It, it kind of, I guess it would function like a shotgun, but I'm not going to do another shotgun video. This is just, I don't, I don't know what I'd really call this. You guys can name it whatever you want. So now I'm going to press P, and you guys can see that I can actually move this thing back and forth without actually affecting the cannon at all. And to show you guys the actual gravitational field of this, let me go uh, Alt, Shift, and F12. You guys can see, this drops my FPS way down to 20. Uh, you guys can see where it actually affects right now, and it's not that great of a uh, 
distance, but it's it's large enough that I can actually fly back and fly it forward. The only problem I can see happening with this is that this won't be fast enough to begin accelerating forwards to keep up with the extra round, so the round might actually go rather slowly. But I'm hoping that maybe if I fly back just enough, just to slightly pull it, and then fly forwards, I should be alright. So let me turn that off again, so I run at decent frames again, and we'll, we'll start flying backwards. Now I'm not too sure how far I should fly, but we'll see. Oh, I'm trying to get out of an angle so I can actually see the results. So here we are pulling back, and we should start pulling on the thing any second now. And hopefully it doesn't pull on a side and goes all wacky. Oh, I can't see it anymore. No, come on. Come on, you can move. I know you can move, you have the capability- oh wait, I can watch it from the back, can't I? No, I can't. Not really well. Okay, let's, let's go here. It should start moving. Oh, I'm so like- oh crap, that flew really quickly. No, I'm gonna miss you! You flew well, too quick for me. It's gonna blow up, it's gonna blow up. Bam. Okay, that- I have to admit, that accelerated a lot quicker than I thought it would have. It did, I was going to say it did minimal damage because I was looking over here and I saw the engines, but no, it took out quite a large chunk of the actual ship. Did this stone survive? Oh my god, this is the stone of destiny. Look at that. The stone of 2.33 case. The stone of destiny has survived. Wow. <laughs> I thought with the explosion everything it would actually, you know, get rid of the stone. But no, the stone lived. So to admit, that accelerated a lot quicker than I thought it would have. Like, I know I covered this thing in gravity generators, but I didn't think it would pull out of there, you know, straight away. I, that probably reached max speed, at least, maybe, at least above 60 meters per second. That was easily going that quickly. And <laughs> this the one thing that took me the longest time with this was actually setting up the gravity generators in a way that they'd only affect a small area. Because doing one or two setting the parameters is really quite easy. But when you come here and you have to set, like, all of these, I don't even know how many there is. There was that many that I actually set waypoints here and there, where are they? There's one waypoint. I said this so I would take a break, save the game, and come back 5-10 minutes later when my eyes went strained and I can continue. I think there's a few more waypoints here and there. But I went through all of these and set all of these. I thought there was another checkpoint. Oh well. I went through and set all of these to 50-20-50. So they are all affected a very small, uh, very small distance this way, but 50 and 50 so that they could... Uh, easily reach where the stone was, and there's a problem here. I think that may have been because of the generators I put here, maybe? I'm not actually too sure what caused this. That's interesting. Oh, it may have been the... No, it wasn't, because that it went fine before. I'm not too sure what's causing... What is going on here? So there's no stone affecting the movement of this. This thing should be stationary. And it shouldn't... Whoa. Why is this thing going all weird now? I'm gonna keep filming this, I'm gonna end the episode with whatever this is doing. I think... No, I'm not too sure what's actually caused this. My guess may be that when the cannon, uh, when the actual round left, this thing was slightly bumped off to the side, but you'd think with the, um... With the landing gear on all sides, it would keep it in... No, it's going all weird now. It's glitching all over the place. I think I guess you found a weird glitch. Um, yeah, okay, that's interesting enough. Anyways, I'll leave this here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.